بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هل ننبئكم بالأخسرين أعمالا I'm 
بشر مثلكم يوحى إلي أنما أنما إلهكم إله واحد فمن ولا يشرك بعبادة ربه أحدا صدق الله العظيم My respected brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I recited the last verses of Surah Al-Kahf and I will now recite the translation, the closest translation in English. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about two groups of people. One who is rejecting the, versing, the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so what will happen to them? And the other group who is living their lives according to the principles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the guidelines of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the principles of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So these are the two groups that are described here. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, shall we inform you of the greatest losers is to their deeds? Who are the greatest losers? according to their deeds. These are those whose effort is lost in worldly, worldly life. They are only running after the worldly life while they think that they are doing well in work. Those are the ones who disbelieve. These are their characteristics. Those are the ones who disbelieve in the verses of their Lord and in meeting him. So their deeds have become worthless and we will not assign to them on the day of resurrection any weight, any importance. That is their recompense, which is hell, for what they, decide, for what they denied and because they took my signs and my messengers in ridicule. Indeed, those who believed and done good deeds they will have the gardens of paradise for their entertainment, wherein they abide forever. They will not desire from it any transfer. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if the sea were ink for writing the words of my Lord, the sea would be exhausted before the words of my Lord were exhausted. Even if we brought the like of it in supplement. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I am only a man like you. It has been revealed to me that your God is only one God. So whoever would hope for meeting with his Lord on the day of judgment, let him do good deeds and not associate in worship of his Lord anyone. Jazakallah.